early in life did you, uh, your relentless ambition begin? Did this happen when you were very young? You, you alluded to the fact that you sold papers at age six or something. Well, I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't really feel like I'm that ambitious. Oh, come on. I'd hate to follow you around for a week. Yeah, well, I just work hard, but I know somewhere. a lot of people that work hard. My father worked hard and set an example for me, and, uh, and I know a lot of people that work hard. What does that mean, working hard? What, what is your day work like? Hard is, you know, hustle all day long. You know, you talk about hustlers. Pete Rose on the baseball field. I try and do that all day long. And that's what I think we need to do here in America. I mean, the, the people working in the American automobile industry, we've got to out-hustle the Japanese. We've got to get that old roll up our sleeves and get back to work, and then we'll get this country out of trouble. We can do anything better than anybody else in the world. That's your life. There's no but question. if we got to reawake that... Uh, that spirit, that's what I try and do with the Atlanta Braves, is get everybody hustling, because it's, it's, it sets a good example for the people that are watching the program. You want an up I mean, what made you single-handedly decide to replenish America's bison herd? Save everything. Remember, I'm supposed to be shooting for something that's impossible to to uh, have happened in my lifetime. And he has done the impossible many times, like the 1979 Fastnet race off the coast of England. A massive storm whipped up winds and waves that left 15 sailors dead. To this day, it's considered the most dangerous ocean race ever. And Ted didn't just survive, he won. And that's where we started our conversation about his amazing life. Was there ever a moment that you thought you wouldn't make it? No. But I didn't spend a whole lot of time thinking about not making it. I was trying to figure out how to keep going. Were you afraid? No. Did you ever think of not going through with the race? Was it ever... Dropping out? Mm. <laughs> no way. Have it been like dropping out with CNN? My birthday too. The, the lines that uh, on courage, because if you're going to be successful in business, you've got to have a lot of courage. <clears throat> then step forward, Horatius. This is from Horatius at the Bridge by Thomas Macaulay. Then step forward, Horatius, the captain of the gate. He said, "To every man of woman born, death cometh soon or late. And how can man die better?" and facing fearful odds for the ashes of his fathers and the temples of his gods. Hew down the bridge, Sir Council, with all the speed ye may. I, with but two beside me, will hold the foe in play. On yon narrow span a thousand might well be stopped by three. Now who will stand on either hand and guard the bridge with me? Pretty strong. They stopped the whole Etruscan army.